Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have filmed in here and just a video in general. I am finally back to doing that. I spent a lot of time organizing and getting rid of things and just purging this entire suite. So I'm finally back and filming and I'm really excited. Today I am bringing you a Sephora spring savings event recommendations video. And this is a great time to stock up on your favorite products or try something new. I'm also partnering with Top Cashback again. I did a Sephora savings event recommendations video last year for the last event that they had and I partnered with Top Cashback as well. So if you are interested, I will have that video linked in the description below and up here. If you want to see some of the other items that I've recommended, I still recommend those items and I just have even more to share this time. Top Cashback is an online cashback website where you can buy products from your favorite stores through their links and then get cash back. So they always give 100% of the cash back percentage to you so whatever it says you're getting back is actually what you will get back. I have continued to use Top Cashback when I shop online. I do that quite often. It's very easy to sign up, especially during the Sephora VIB Spring Savings event because it will help you save even more money even with the discount that they offer during this event. If you do plan on getting anything during this Sephora Spring Savings event, then definitely use the link in the description box below. They have a $10 sign up bonus. If you spend $25 during this Spring Savings event for Sephora and that's on top, of the already 5% cash back that you will get if you use top cash back for this event. And that's also on top of the discounts that Sephora is offering during the savings event. So if you are an insider, you will be getting 10% off from April 15th to the 19th. If you're a VIB, you get 15% off from April 13th to the 19th. And VIB Rouge is 20% off from the 9th to April 19th. The code is OMG spring. I will have it right here as well as in the description box below. It is super easy to use and a perfect time to stock up on things that you love. So if you want to see some of my recommendations, then just keep watching. I'm going to start out with my makeup recommendations. This brand is a new brand, I think to Sephora. I believe this is the first black owned clean beauty brand at Sephora, which is really cool. And the products do not disappoint. The brand is LYS or L Y S. I think it stands for love yourself. These are the only products that I've tried from this brand. The first one is a powder. This is the triple fix translucent setting powder. It is leaping bunny certified as well as PETA approved. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. I did do a little post about these on my second Instagram, Cruelty Free Brittany, in case you did not know. I started that very, very recently and I'm just starting to like post more on it. This is the powder that I used to set my face today. It is the most soft, smooth buttery powder it does not look cakey at all I even use it to set the concealer underneath my eyes and I do not do that with just any powder because I'm very particular with how my under eyes look especially with the powder that I use to set them and this I can seriously use all over my entire face and it looks flawless. The other product from Liss is the bronzer. So I tried the No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Motivate. This is their lightest bronzer shade and it is so perfect. It's the perfect neutral bronzer. It's not too cool toned. It's not too warm. I did use it today. They're talc free, both of these powders, and they also have ingredients in them that are really good for your skin. I think there's niacinamide in one of the powders. 10 out of 10, honestly, for these. These are so good. I wanted to mention another bronzer that I did get recently and I reached for all the time. I literally go between this bronzer and the Liss one. So this is from Lawless. It's the Summer Skin Velvet Matte Bronzer in the shade Golden Hour. They both have such a similar texture. The colors are slightly different. I'd say that the Lawless one that I have in this shade at least has a little bit more of a red tone to it, which is still perfectly fine for me and it also is talc free so i'm definitely starting to buy products that have no talc or at least they have better ingredients for your skin and things that aren't toxic my next recommendation is something that i've actually had for quite some time and for some reason i didn't use it for a long time and i just recently started using it again and i fell in love with it this is the stay naked weightless liquid foundation from 
Urban Decay. I really like this one because it is a medium coverage, but it feels quite lightweight and it has a satin, almost matte finish. And I typically don't go for that kind of look. This wouldn't be a foundation that I would wear every single day just because my personal preference is a more light dewy foundation or more of like a tinted moisturizer or BB cream. But when I need to film a video or go out somewhere and I need to have makeup on for a long time for whatever reason, I'm not doing a whole lot these days. But if I do want a little bit more coverage and I want it to last quite some time, this is the foundation that I reach for. I've really been enjoying it. I have mine in the shade 20NN and I do believe they are pretty good for color selections as well. This is another product that I got very recently. This is from Rare Beauty. I had heard a couple things about this blush and I think I saw her using it in a tutorial on the Rare Beauty YouTube channel and I was like, oh, that looks really pretty. So I wanted to try it. This is the melting blush in the shade Nearly Apricot and it is seriously a melting blush. Like I am already a big fan of cream blushes. I use them all the time. I like when makeup looks more dewy and natural. And this is like such a breeze to use. It honestly melts into your skin. I've used it on just bare skin before and it just melted right into my skin. It blended out so easily. I really like to apply it with the e.l.f. small stipple brush. I also really like that brush for highlighter. But this color is so beautiful. I don't know how else to describe it besides saying like a burnt peach. And I feel like this color would be flattering for a lot of different skin tones and shades. So I think that this has just been like one of my favorite things that I've used. I don't know how I could have been so like blown away by a blush, but I was. If you happen to be looking for a new mascara and you want to try something out that is more on the clean side of makeup, then I would definitely suggest trying out the Ilia Limitless Volume Mascara. Dang it, I was so close. It's the Limitless Lash Mascara and it's so great. I love the shape of the wand because you can really separate your lashes but still build volume at the same time. It's the mascara that I'm wearing today. I reach for this seriously all the time. I feel like if I'm going to use a product right at my eyes, I want it to be something that isn't filled with like weird chemicals. <laughs> this brand is also certified cruelty-free by the Leaping Bunny program, which is my favorite cruelty-free certification program because it's extremely trustworthy. I have a few recommendations for for skincare, the first one is from Kopari. I've probably talked about this on my channel quite a few times over the years. It is the coconut oil deodorant. I specifically really like the scent Gardenia. It smells like summer. I am a big fan of floral scents, but nothing that smells too artificial, obviously. This is a natural deodorant. It's aluminum free. So I always like to go for this. This is the one that I've found that works the best for me and I constantly repurchase it. I'm gonna stick with skincare for your body. These are two of my current favorite products that you can get at Sephora. It is from the brand Skin Fix. I've mentioned Skin Fix in a lot of videos. I even mentioned it in my last Sephora savings event video and I didn't mention these products because I started using them after I filmed that one. Both of these are from the Resurface Plus line. One of them is the Glycolic Renewing Scrub and the other is the AHA Renewing Cream. These together are so perfect for KP or keratosis pilaris. That is those little tiny bumps that you might get very commonly on your arms. They aren't like pimples or anything and they are kind of annoying to get rid of. It just kind of messes with the skin texture and I really like smooth skin and this has made the biggest difference. Like it really got rid of like all of the bumpiness that I had on my arms and it felt so nice afterwards. So I just use this all the time. I keep it in my shower. The resurface scrub is wonderful. The cream smells so good. This one has a 5% natural AHA blend and 1% lime extract blend in the AHA Renewing Cream. And the Glycolic Renewing Scrub has 7% glycolic acid and 6% lactic acid. Lactic acid is also something that I just started using on my face as well. Speaking of peels 
and anything that will help resurface my skin. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you can actually buy The Ordinary on Sephora.com. So I've used a few products from The Ordinary. The one that I did, actually the two that I wanna mention are the Lactic Acid 10% and HA. This is a high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation and also the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. It's a high strength vitamin and mineral blend. blend blemish formula. I use this to help keep any like acne that might pop up at bay and also help with redness. And this is what I like to use at night before I go to bed so that it just kind of does its thing at night. And then you have to make sure that you use a sunscreen, especially if you're using anything that has some sort of like resurfacing, peeling agent in it because it can make your skin a little bit more sensitive to sunlight and you don't want to get sunburns. We should all be wearing sunscreen every day anyways. I am very guilty of not doing that, but it is something that I'm trying to do more this year. I have two more recommendations for the Sephora Spring Savings event. These two are also skincare items for your face. The first is the Ulla Henriksen Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. This is my favorite exfoliator at the moment. These are actually both from Ulla Henriksen. I really love this skincare brand. I feel like they make really cool, innovative products, but the scrub exfoliates with AHAs and lemon peel extract. It smells so good. And the other product that I have from Ulla Henriksen is also super new. This is the Wrinkle Blur Bakuchiol Eye Gel Cream with peptides and proteins. If you have tried the Glow Alt Serum from Ulla Henriksen, it basically smells exactly the same. That one looks like the this Bakuchiol, if that's how you pronounce it, is a alternative to using retinol. So if your skin is a little bit sensitive to that, then definitely look for something that has Bakuchiol in it. So this is a perfect thing to use underneath your eyes if you are noticing or if you want to prevent fine lines and wrinkles. So those are all of my recommendations for the 2021 Sephora Spring Savings event. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what your recommendations would be for the Sephora Spring Savings event. I would love to discover some new brands, new products. I always wanna try out something new. So definitely leave me your recommendations in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out the link in the description below for top cash back. Sign up and get that $10 sign up bonus and actually save even more money when you do shop during the Sephora Spring Savings event. So I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.